Hey guys, it's Wood here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode for Race 9 at 36 Season 3. We're in the Cup Series, and we're going to Richmond. Last race was at Bristol, and we managed to win that race. Um, AIs are pretty competitive there, so I mean, I'll, I'll give them that. Richmond might be the same sort of case, because it is like, kind of like a short track, so what well, is so. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Here's the settings, legend difficulty, 13% race lakes, uh, four times wear, same stuff as I normally do. The only thing I mainly change is the tired fuel just to make sure that they don't like pit and, and like be like a weird scenario where like they'll pit or like they'll like, <sighs> why can't I talk? Either like when they pit, when they don't have to or something, I don't know. So that's, uh, that's what's going on. So. Yeah, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get into qualifying, put in a default setup, and uh, we'll see where I start here. Off turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. I'm assuming mid-20s and 27. So, look at me. I could just predict the future. <laughs> All right, so who got the pull out of curiosity's sake? And, okay. Well, that's already off to a bad restart off for this race already. We're coming to you from Richmond International Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its first of two stops at this 0.7 mile asphalt track. The drivers love coming here because this D-shaped oval has multiple grooves that offer lots of great passing opportunities and tons of side-by-side -side racing. We love coming here for the same reason. So let's get ready for some racing. Here we are, the race about to begin, get ready. And green flags out, we're underway. Starting P27. Let's try to gain as much spots as possible on this stage. That's 12 laps. And 26 in the fuel. So we'll see uh, how much I can gain in those amount of time. I'm assuming at least we'll get some kind of stage points. But I don't know by how much. Ooh, hello, Dave Reagan. I know I touched him a little bit earlier. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I touched them in a different race earlier. Oh my god! Jeez, what a thank you for you speak. Oh yeah, that's something I never do. Four wide, oh god, this is a bad idea. Thank you, Stenhouse. I'll leave it to you to, to do something stupid like that. Keep the car on the bottom. I can't do that because the car's so tight. Ken's at this just falling apart in this race, okay. So, yes. it, it's weird because Richmond's like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. But, ooh, that apron, it is deceptively evil. That, that's a word in that right context, I don't know, but it, it just happens so much. And I don't know why, maybe it's because, like, the camera is so close to the car, and, like, your perspective of it is just, you just don't have a great grasp on it, but it's like other tracks you, you kind of know, or have a better surrounding area. I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting at, but it's just, the point is, it's difficult sometimes to not hit that cur curb, apron, so... It's Martinsville. Chase Elliott, what are you doing? What's that? So, now we got front bumper damage. Thank you. Now I have a little bit of OCD now. Can't... Ooh. Can't have a normal race. Can't have... Now, he's probably going to be mad at me, too. He's like, ooh, you freaking hit me. Ooh. But, like, I, I can't... I can't help it if you, you know, brake check me. I love you, Chase. Come on. Inside a Kurt Busch for 10th position, so we're gonna get them stage points, touch him a little bit, it's okay. He's gonna be mad. I don't know if it's me, but I swear, I feel like these cup drivers get more so upset, like salty. If you just slightly touch them, I don't recall that ever happening. Did the game get secretly patched and I just wasn't aware of it? The game didn't really say it had an actual, like, patch update thing, so I don't know. Legal, who started on the polls, dropping the nine, so that's good to see. But Kyle Busch is leading, so um, pick your poison, folks. So, I get to buy Truex for eighth, and yeah, we're definitely going to get stage points. We're definitely fast. Even on default setup, that's crazy. That's the scary thing, too, is that even on default setup, things fast. So, this goes normal. We might not have to pit till the end of stage two, and then probably going to just gonna like, take right side tires because left sides are holding up pretty well. I don't know why I'm trying to pass these guys on the outside, but they just so, they went off of turn two so just lazily. Like, I just kind of got to run. Let's try to get to the inside or make it three wide. Throw it into turn one, the car sticks. Get to the bottom and P6 we are in for the time being. 
white flags out one more time around for the uh, final lap of stage number one. Gonna try to get by Harvick for fifth position. That would be nice. And looks like we have the preferred lane here going into turn three. McMurray, please go in the corner quickly. Oh, he blew a tire. Oh my god. Yeah, he blew a tire. And there go. Okay. I guess Caution came out right at the line. I don't know, but we get fourth. McMurray just blew a tire. So nobody's pitting. McMurray's gonna pit, so hey, good good job on the game for actually having an AI pit when they blow a fucking tire. Ooh, I know that's crazy, but for this game, that's a big deal. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get stage two going here. Well, we're gonna be P4. Nobody pitted except for McMurray. Here we go. And the green flags that were underway for stage number two. Get off to a good, good start. Gonna be three wide, I think. Uh, Brad kind of choked it a little bit there on the start. On the outside of Kyle Busch trying to go for the lead. Okay, he went out that corner a little limpy. Let's go into turn three. And can we clear him? Nope, he's still there. Kyle, stop it. I, can I lead a lap? No, I can't. Okay, you know what? Let's get back to the inside. Nine to go in this stage. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. We, okay, we made slight contact with him. He's going to be very, very salty. But it's okay, we get the lead. And the fans are probably cheering. <laughs> White flag's out for the last lap of stage two. Still leading. Harvick has been right around three to four tenths of a second behind me. Since this stage has pretty much began. Ever since I got in the lead. So Harvick's putting up a good fight. So I'll, I'll give him that. So going through three and four for the final time. In stage two we're going to win it. No problems. And yeah. So now we get to the decision of pitting. And I'm going to go with right side tires. That seems to be the most logical thing to do. And yeah, so that's. I'm hoping that works out fine. Our tire wear is a little bit worn on the lefts, but I, I'm hoping that works. So we're going to put in 1.5 can of fuel, two tires, not repair damage. And we'll be out in the way. Hopefully, we don't lose any spots. Oh, wow, okay. McMurray. <laughs> that stage strategy. Blown a tire. <laughs> so, yeah, he's leading. <laughs> Uh, but we'll get the lead back though. And obviously green flags back out. So 24 laps in this last stage and 24 in the fuel. Oh boy. There I'm just gonna make it on fuel, I guess. So yeah. I would be worried, but we can save a lot of laps in time, so. Yeah. So they they shouldn't pit. So I don't know. But uh, we got the lead right away, so um McMurray's not even in the top five anymore, so that stage strategy, uh, it didn't really work out for him. 15 laps to go in the race, still leading the race. Um, Harvick is still right there, just like in stage two. I'm, I can't even really stress just how intense I'm just concentrating, because like I really gotta continue to hit my marks. The cart is definitely falling off. The tires on the left are starting to get really burnt, and well, the rights are starting to as well, but. Yeah, it's definitely starting to get to that little, like, that point where the car's getting really tough to kind of go into the corner like it used to, so I'm really just trying to hit my marks. We're gapping him a little bit, but i got to continue that, that that level of concentration. He laps up to go in the race, still leading. The gap continues to grow. It, even over this period of time, it only took about, I only gained, like, an extra, like, seven-tenths of a second. So, I mean, it's just, it's growing, but just very steadily. Again, it's a lot of concentration trying to hit your marks. I've not clipped that apron once. The car's getting really, really tight. But we might catch lap traffic, so that's going to be interesting, folks. I mean, something's going to happen for the first time since the end of stage, or the beginning of stage two. You know, we're catching Kennington, my, you know, my most hated enemy who never wants to let go of things. We get by him, no problem. The car is getting really tight. It's so bad now. Harvick's definitely closing in just a little bit. Just gotta continue to hit my marks and gain these positions. We're almost there. Point flags out for ourselves one more time around the racetrack. Seems like people aren't gonna pit, so congratulations on the AI. Harvick is getting held up big time, so I think he's actually getting some into some lap traffic finally, so. Into 3-4 for the potential final time. We touch Jerry or Jeffrey, Jeffrey Earnhardt, and we'll get the win at Richmond. Thank you, David Hoos, for not throwing a yellow as our AI driver just puts Jeffrey into the wall. Why? Jeffrey Earnhardt has more wins than Dale Jr. in his career, by the way. Remember the hot seat race? Yeah, Jeffrey Earnhardt, again, better than Dale Jr. <laughs> Here's the race results. We get the win. Uh, Suarez ninth, I saw, so that's cute. 
and Dale Jr., who was in the top five or something. Yeah, something happened to him. Again, Jeffrey Earnhardt did better than Dale Jr. Kyle Busch, 38. Oh, my God. Did he, what had happened to him? He got, like, two laps down. Is it because I touched him? He's like, oh, he, like, couldn't handle it, so he just ended the race? <laughs> like, he couldn't handle it? Like, I don't know. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a weird thing, but we got the win again. What else is new? Oh, yeah, our earnings. I gotta keep remembering myself for that. Like, NASCAR Heat 3, um, please have money go to something. That would be nice. So, yeah, more wins, more stage points. So, yeah, it was, it, it, it was a good one. Oh, boy, Talladega. I would be excited, but for some reason, Talladega has always brought me just miserable luck in some way. And I say this because look at my NASCAR 15. Jeff Gordon thingamajig, NASCAR Inside Line, uh, Season 2, and I believe Season 1 of that as well. Um, some point in NASCAR 2004, 2003 as well. Like it, this, I don't know what it is with this track. It just something has to happen. So there's a lot of hype to live up to those like wacky expectations, and I don't know if I'm going to be stupid or the game's going to be stupid. So we'll just wait and see. So yeah, let's check the Rivals things. I guarantee somebody's going to be salty. Okay, Jimmy Johnson's still there, Trevor Bain, Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Harvick, um, Kennington, he's still fucking there, he's madder than Logano, oh my, I have not even got, I mean, I've gotten around him, definitely, but I have not, like, legitimately hit him in any way, since Atlanta, and that was actually out of my control, because that was when the stage ended, and I didn't have the control of the car, so that that's very bizarre, and he's madder than a lot of cars here, what, that's it for this video. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys, give me the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it does help me a lot in the long run. Also, a big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Dan Reynolds, Breen Hill, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, and Jeff Gordon for a donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you, and it means a lot to me, and you guys are seriously freaking awesome. See you all at Talladega. That's going to be a wacky, crazy race, probably. I don't know. Don't hold my word to it, so. I'll see you all then, I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day everyone.